In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I was able to go from 6 FPS on Starfield to getting solid 30 to 40 FPS on Starfield. And even on a crowded city like New Atlantis, I was able to get solid 30 FPS and on Space, I was getting 40 to 45 FPS, which made the game totally playable on my laptop. Now, I don't exactly have a low-end PC to be honest. I have a ASUS Stuff A15, which comes with a Ryzen 7 4800H and RTX 3050. Now for most people, this isn't exactly a low-end PC, but for a game like Starfield, this does classify as a low-end PC. Now let me show you guys what I did. First things first, make sure to install the game on SSD. Now there's too much loading on the game and well, if you are on HDD, the loading is gonna take ages and this game doesn't even run properly on HDD. So make sure to install the game on a SSD. The next thing that you wanna make sure is that you are using the updated graphics driver for both AMD and NVIDIA GPU and also for Intel GPUs. Now if you have a NVIDIA GPU, go to GeForce Experience, then go to Drivers, then from here, find GeForce Game Ready Driver and make sure that the version is 537.34. This is the latest Game Ready Driver which is actually optimized for Starfield. Now let me show you guys my in-game settings. So go to Display Settings now. Now from here, copy everything that you see here. So here's how you can get it. So first we have borderless full screen. Now one big issue here is that you cannot play on a lower resolution than your screen. Otherwise the game will come in windowed mode. And I'm gonna be honest, no one actually enjoys a game on windowed mode. So make sure to turn this on. But also it comes with a drawback that it will make sure that the window size is the maximum resolution of your monitor. Which in my case, I have a 1080p monitor. So that's why it's 1920 into 1080. But when I play the game on 900p, like 1800 into 900, I get much better FPS, but the game opens on windowed mode. So I don't actually use that. Now, the next thing that you wanna make sure is go to graphics preset, then set it to low. Like just set everything to low, then go to render resolution scale and set it to 70%. If you have a beefier PC, you can set it to all the way to 100%. Or if you have a more low-end PC than me, then set it to 50%. Like I'll recommend you to do some experiment yourself and find out which resolution works best for you. Then, well, here we have all of the settings on low. By the way, you can also turn off motion blur if you are actually sensitive to motion blur. But setting it on low is okay. Then also make sure to turn on VSync. Some people might tell you to turn it off. But in my case, VSync actually works better. But well, check it out yourself. This doesn't actually matter much. Then from upscaling, make sure to select FSR2. Now the game doesn't have inbuilt DLSS. Now DLSS is the upscaling mode for Nvidia GPUs, but there's actually a DLSS mod that you can check out on the internet. Now since this video is not about mods, I'm not gonna talk about it. So after that, go to sharpening and set it to 80%. This will give you better visuals and sharpen all of the objects that you see. But if you find that you are not getting good FPS on 80% sharpening, set it to 50 or 60%. Also make sure to turn on VRS and set the film grain to 0.20. This actually doesn't matter much, but 0.20 is my favorite one. And well, that's the in-game settings. Now try it out yourself and let me know if it works for you. And if this video works, then let me know down in the comment and like and subscribe to the channel. It will mean a lot to me. Now if you have an Nvidia GPU, let me show you another thing that you can do which is ultra low latency mode to reduce any kind of input lag. Close the game and open NVIDIA control panel. From NVIDIA control panel, go to manage 3D settings, then go to program settings, then from here, select Starfield. Now in case if you don't see Starfield here, go ahead and hit add, then you'll find Starfield here. After finding Starfield, go ahead and hit the add selected program button and that will do the trick. Now from Starfield, go ahead and find ultra low latency mode. Now here, as you can see, I found it. It's right here, low latency mode, and set this to ultra. Now hit apply. There will be an apply button here somewhere, since I already have it on ultra, so there's no apply button for me. But if you see the apply button, go ahead and hit it, and save the preset. And that's pretty much it. And that's how I was able to get good FPS on Starfield and the game is totally playable on my laptop now. So well, that's it for today and see you guys in the next video.